Deer Isle delivers just about everything you'd expect down east. But look closer. You might also find a number of surprises. Case in point, skip L.L. Bean and head to L.L. Frijoles for bean burritos instead of duck boots. People are always wondering why there's a taqueria built into a barn out in the middle of the woods at the end of a peninsula in the middle of nowhere. When Michael Rosny and wife Michelle Levesque decided to open a Mexican restaurant, they had three priorities. Location, location, location. So they moved to this rural hideaway from Oakland, California. Nobody needed another taqueria owned by a couple of middle-aged white folks in Oakland. It didn't make any sense. And so we were like, let's go for it. Opened in 2007, this unlikely taqueria in the rough has won a devoted following with its fresh, organic ingredients and creative take on Mexican cuisine. And our thing is that we've lived here for 12 years and no one's tried to kill us once. It's a marked difference living in West Oakland. Still, community embrace has its limits. My son was born in the next town over, and my next door neighbor, Miss Virginia, just turned 90 the other day. Um, I, when I said something about him now being a native Mainer, she said that just because a cat has kittens in the oven doesn't make them biscuits. And if you're wondering about the name, frijoles is Spanish for beans, so it's LL Beans. Every year we'll have people that have been eating here for 10 years and they'll come in here and then they'll get it. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, ah, oh, the groan is amazing. Next up, a town you won't find on any map. People um, have asked us why we don't describe it and get the word out, but it's impossible to describe. Welcome to Nellyville, a whimsical recreation of an old-time western town. It's sort of a, a museum, it's like a movie set more even than a museum that you can walk through and interact with. Nellyville, a byproduct of Peter Beeret's wild imagination. His main focus, his sculpture. which crowds his barn and overflows into the woods around his property. There are fantastical creatures and a medieval castle. A bit deeper in the woods, a chapel, all constructed with salvaged wood and machine parts. Visitors are welcome to wander the grounds and hopefully find their way to the Jelly Kitchen and Cafe, where Beerit's wife, Anne, oversees operations at Nervous Nelly's Jams and Jellies. We make about 300, maybe 350 jars of jam a day. Using whole fruits, everything is made by hand in small batches. These jams and chutneys were once carried by major retailers like Dean and DeLuca and Macy's. Now, to find their products, you'll have to make the pilgrimage to Nellyville, this crazy mishmash of creativity and craft. Because there's so much going on here, we have become very well known over time and people will come from some distance and spend sometimes a whole day here. It is very crazy and that's entirely thanks to my husband. I appreciate and understand crazy, but it's not my forte. My role is to keep the place glued together. There is no glue in this shop. It takes full mind-body engagement to even get the, the simplest stage is done. But this is my office and I, I sit and watch Stony the Harbor day in, day out, and it's working so far. To enter Tim Witten's shop on Main Street is to step into a maritime dream world. His artful curatorial eye has assembled odd objects from sailing ships and the seafaring trades. But his focus, the esoteric art of marlin spike or rope work. I'm not the only person in the world doing fancy marlin spike work. I'm one of the very few who are doing it professionally. Complex knots and decorative braiding and weaving, skills honed over the ages by ship's bosuns and riggers. Witten specializes in bell ropes and beckets, the handles found on sea chests, a mathematical beauty and functionality that appealed to Witten, who was on his way to a PhD in engineering when he fell under the spell of Marlin Spike. I just have an eye or a mindset to be able to recognize how it should look and then I have the hands to make it look that way. That looks complicated. 
The result, like objects that combine history and artistry, beautifully entwined. The pieces that I make you know, are you know, in some ways indistinguishable from what the 18th and 19th century museum pieces look like. And an update for you on Nervous Nellies. You can now order their jams and jellies online. They are a very small operation, so they do ask that if you have some patience with them with your order. And back to LL Frijoles, they make their food relying on local ingredients. So sometimes they run out when people are still waiting to order. When they start to run low, they give the last person in line a sombrero to wear. So if you walk up and find yourself behind the hat, they say, try us another day. The restaurant is open with its winter hours at the moment, Wednesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 7. Next, before Anthony sits down to lunch, he has some questions.